Tonto National Monument, an ancient archaeological site located 110 miles northeast of Phoenix in the Tonto Basin, near Roosevelt, Arizona, is an impressive example of the architectural skill and ingenuity of the region's native people. This location is home to more than 1,000 archaeological sites, including the awe-inspiring Upper and Lower Cliff Dwellings. Today, we'll explore the Lower Cliff Dwelling and delve into the remarkable building skills of the Salado people who called this place home. The Lower Cliff Dwelling, nestled high in the rugged cliffs of the Tonto Basin, was constructed by the Salado people over 700 years ago. The Salado, who lived in this region from 1250 to 1450 CE, were a Native American group known for their intricate and sustainable building practices. The Salado selected east-facing caves to build their homes, a strategic choice that provided natural insulation. These caves remained cool and shaded during the scorching summer months, while the winter sun warmed them creating a comfortable living environment year-round. Their construction technique was both practical and resourceful. The walls were built using rock and mortar made from clay-rich soil. Each wall was carefully constructed in layers, allowing each section to harden before adding the next. This method ensured stability and longevity. The roofs were crafted from a variety of local plants and trees, including juniper, pinyon pine, sycamore, saguaro ribs, and river reeds. The construction began with wood beams placed over doorways, followed by a primary beam across the room. Secondary beams were then laid on top, topped with saguaro ribs, sotal stalks, and reed or juniper shakes. Finally, a thick layer of clay was added serving as both the roof and the floor for the room above. The Salado people lived in and around this area for more than 10,000 years. However, the reason for their eventual departure from these cliff dwellings remains a mystery. In recognition of the cultural and historical significance of these cliff dwellings, President Theodore Roosevelt, using the 1906 Antiquities Act, designated the Tonto Cliff Dwellings as a national monument on December 19, 1907. The National Park Service began managing the site in 1933, making it the only actively interpreted Salado site. When visiting Tonto National Monument, you can explore both the upper and lower cliff dwellings. The upper cliff dwellings are accessible through guided tours, available by reservation from November through April. The lower cliff dwelling, which we are highlighting today, is open for self-guided tours from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. during the summer months and 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. from September to May. The trail to the lower cliff dwelling begins at the visitor's center. This half mile long trail is paved, but be prepared for a steep incline as you make your way up to the site. The effort is well worth it for the breathtaking views and the chance to step back in time. While you're in this area, don't miss the opportunity to explore other nearby attractions. Lake Roosevelt, the largest lake entirely within Arizona's borders, offers a variety of recreational activities. You can also visit the historic Theodore Roosevelt Dam and Bridge and enjoy numerous hiking trails, including a section of the Arizona Trail. Tonto National Monument 
is more than just a glimpse into the past. It's a testament to the ingenuity and resilience of the Salado people. We hope this visit has inspired you to learn more about this incredible site and the rich history it preserves.